Oh my god. It's positive blizzard news! This is a rare sighting here on the Cow's channel. Welcome back to A Cow's Opinion with Tom Ivan on VideoGamesChronicle.com has given us perhaps what I am hopeful for is the first in many positive blizzard updates now that Activision and the Bobby Kotek troll does not own them anymore because it was announced today that Overwatch 2 Heroes will be free starting in Season 10. Oh, good times, guys. So today, game director Aaron Keller said that you will no longer have to purchase the premium battle pass or grind for hours to unlock and get new heroes. Heroes are one of the most exciting additions to the game, and we want all of our players to have immediate access to them when they launch, which is why I'm thrilled to share that Venture and all future heroes will be free for all players when they launch, he said. Uh, Venture is this archaeology person who's going to be 40. Uh, not, I mean, they, they're kind of inspired by a minor. There's already fan art of them. It's haven't They haven't released a trailer or skill set, roast, and they haven't really said much about it. They were announced last year at BlizzCon along with uh, our Moana buddy. Here we go. And starting with Venture, heroes will no longer be unlocked through the Battle Pass. This includes all previous Overwatch 2 heroes. One of the biggest complaints people have had about Overwatch and how it went down after all of the terribleness when they went to Overwatch 2 and they went from 6 to 5 and people didn't like that. And then they're like, oh hey, all that story content we were teasing? Eh, it turns out it's harder than I thought, so we're just not going to give it to you. One of the main selling points of charging you for Overwatch 2. And people didn't like that. And you could grind and get the battle pass. It was hard to get the stuff that you wanted. And people didn't like that. Positive momentum. It's just a little bit right now. It's just a little bit. But positive momentum positively makes me happy, guys. There's also going to be a new way to unlock your Mythic skins with the launch of the Mythic Shop. Which will allow you to work towards past and current seasonal mythic hero skins as you progress through the premium battle pass. And you can decide how far into each skin you like to build. So for example, if you don't want to fully unlock all the colors and model variations, you can... So basically, yeah. If you're like, I only want about two thirds of this and then I don't like... I think purple looks dumb on this character for whatnot. For one. Or it's like, I don't think it looks... I don't think the end of it looks as good as the middle of it. You don't have to progress towards it, so that's amazing. Also, starting with Season 10, players can earn coins through the free and premium tracks of the Battle Pass, and the number of coins you earn for free per season is going to go from 540 to 600. As well as earlier today, Blizzard launched Plunderstorm, a new Battle Royale in style limited time event for World of Warcraft. You know, we're going to click on that. Basically, it's, hey, do you want uh, you want a little Fortnite in your Warcraft? But I'm uh, th this is kind of interesting. Look, it's not bad. It's not terrible, but it's just not the... Uh, it it's not the big... The big new... It's cool that they're still doing neat stuff in World of Warcraft. But this, guys, we... This entire news thing has been built on negative... Activision Blizzard news because there's been a lot of it. Let's be reasonable. There's been a lot. It doesn't make me happy. It makes me sad in the tummy. This makes me happy. And I hope it makes happy for you too because honestly, Overwatch 2 needs a lot of work. Blizzard needs some work. But now, now that Microsoft owns them, there's the. Ch it's not a guarantee. I'm not fanboying for Microsoft right now. I'm not. But now there is a chance, just a chance, but a chance, that we can get some positive stuff. Maybe Blizzard could go back to not everything has to be a massive 10 year we worked on AAA game. Maybe we can get some old stuff back to some more experimental stuff that we all really loved and that they made into things. Because that was really cool too. Also, did I travel in time? Because this says it was March 19th. At 7.49 p.m. It's 10 after 5. On March 19th where I am. And. Uh, you know even if they were on the east. Unless he's on like the. You have to be like on the extreme. 
I got a West Town HD, a buddy of mine who lives in Canada. It's like on the extreme northeastern portion of the North American continent, and they're two hours ahead. But even if you're two hours ahead, that means that this was posted at 5.49 my time. I think this is this is either broken or I've learned time travel. Obviously, it's the second one. I am thy god now. <laughs> but no, I just want to do a quick little video update because I was scrolling through the news, saw this, and I'm like, oh my god, that's great. And it's from Blizzard? I'm not used to great and Blizzard being in the same sentence the last couple of years. So let me know if you still play Overwatch 2 down in the comments. Do you like seeing this? Does there another, perhaps, Blizzard game, StarCraft, StarCraft? That you would like to see more positive news and momentum about. And you know what else you can do? You know what else you can do? You know what else you can do? You can play more games! Games are awesome. You deserve awesome. And the heroes are free again. Guys, have a nice evening.